Eliza voted out at the last tribal council. So knowing that Ozzy already had it, why even bother? Either way, the person who gets snuffed goes to the jury. Now they're frustrated. You know. Ozzy, that's four votes Jason, three votes Ozzy. Four votes Ozzy, one vote left. Tenth person voted out of Survivor fans versus favorites and the second member of our jury, Ozzy. Need to bring me your torch. Grab your torches, head back to camp. Good night. And there's somebody who wanted to be greedy, poverty. She wanted to make herself in a better position. So she did what she had to do, and she got rid of Ozzy. And now I'm pretty much next. It was an opportunity for me to look for the idol, but at this point in the game, I... That's three votes, James. One vote, Jason. Jason, that's four, that's enough. You need to bring your torch. Good night. Now bring in the members of the jury. Eliza, Ozzy, James making his first appearance since being pulled from the game. All right, jury, first, let me catch you up. Did you spend any time looking for the hidden immunity idol? Um, it was really windy and the currents were really strong. When he needs someone, he comes across trustworthy. But then when you need Eric for something, and I was asking for your help this time, and you clearly denied me of that. And yeah, I'm mad about it. I, I'm, I'm pretty pissed off right now. About that, Jeff. I just wanna say, I got it. <laughs> Amanda does not count. Alexis, that's two and that is enough. Need to bring me your torch. You decide to bring Amanda with you after she had completely worked you at the last tribal council. Well, I felt like I needed to redeem Eric running around and making alliances with every single person and then breaking their alliances and then switching back up and switching back over when he didn't even need to do that, he'd won. Because everyone basically turned around and went to each other and said, hey, Eric's full of crap. Eric's telling everybody what they want to hear. You say you're sorry and like take me on a reward and that's a great and all, but you only took me to get my vote on the jury. I am sorry. I just want to tell you that. If it means anything at all. I don't see any friendly faces. I don't see anybody on the jury that's going to say, hey, you did a pretty good job or you didn't backstab me or you didn't lie to my face. And especially after what I did, this was a very tough decision for me, for a lot of reasons. As a competitor, I want to give individual immunity to Natalie. Eric, two votes, Eric. The four of us respect each other enough that I don't think that there would be a blind side. Um, I would pray for a blind side on some level. When have you felt on the bottom? Always. Honest, always. Between us three? It's obvious because not one person. It's just really hard for me because I feel like either way, it's a lose-lose situation for me at this point. Tonight, the power shifts from this side of the tribal council over to the jury based on what they've seen over the last 39 days. Physically, strategically, and mentally to the end. And, you know, I'm really proud of how I played. How does being the flirt parallel to your intimate life? I think my strategy, I'll flirt with girls to get my way, or I'll flirt with guys to get my way, and I've made intellectual, strategic decisions. And, you know, I want to compete with the men. Like, I came in this game to compete with the guys. I think she was kind of the powerhouse in making those decisions happen. Okay. And how can you say that you're a role model when you're willing to discard a valuable friendship like that? Who do you vote for to win this game? I'm going to give you a moment. 